Hey guys, welcome to the jungle. Growing your own pineapple plant from just a pineapple top is super fun and super easy. Earlier this year, I showed you the technique of how to do it in a step-by-step -step video from start to finish. Today, I'll give you a condensed refresher on that exact process, as well as give you some care and maintenance tips for your growing pineapple plants. Getting your pineapple plant to this stage from just the tops is actually super easy. Let me show you what I did back in March with 63 different tops that worked every single time. Start out with a pineapple fruit that has the greenest foliage that you can find. Avoid those with brown leaves or mushy tops. Cut that top off, leaving about a quarter inch of the fruit on there. The old method was to now place that top onto damp soil and hope that it would root, with about a 25% success rate. Instead, we peel back those layers of bottom leaves, revealing that inner stem inside. Place the stem in a jar of water. After a couple of days, the stem will turn brown and oxidize. Don't worry, this is normal. Around a week or so later, root nodules actually begin to form on that stem. And in roughly a month, the stem begins to explode with a network of adventitious roots. Amazing. Peel off the remaining leaves to reveal that new pineapple plant inside. I start my new pineapple plants in one gallon pots, trying not to bury them too deep. Keep them moist but not wet, and they tend to grow quite quickly. The key to growing pineapple plants past this stage into healthy, robust fruit producers is soil. Pineapples are actually members of the bromeliad family and their soil requirements are quite specific. Their roots simply cannot tolerate being waterlogged, and the plants themselves are actually quite adept at storing water for long periods of time. As such, the mixture that I choose is a standard rich organic potting mix, amended with about 25% sand. I can't stress enough how much pineapple plants need drainage. Another option is to incorporate bark mulch from fir, like the one that the orchid growers use. If you're wondering about size, the fine grade seems to work the best. The other thing about pineapple plants is that they enjoy an acidic soil. 5.5 to 6.5 pH seems to be ideal. Add in a handful of elemental sulfur to lower that pH and you're good to go. Pineapple plants grow big foliage and you can transition these guys right away into biggie sized pots. But what I like to do is I like to put them in these five or seven gallon pots first you know, just to save on soil and space, you know, these guys don't have massive root systems and they don't seem to suffer much. I line the bottom of my pot with newspaper to prevent the soil from spilling out. Once you do that, begin filling that pot with that soil mix that we talked about earlier, checking the depth along the way with the actual pineapple plant itself. You really want to replant these guys at the same depth that they're currently at. Before planting, soak your pot and the soil in it to prevent any transplant shock. Pineapple plants do like it relatively dry, but always when repotting plants, it's advisable to have moist soil to really prevent that transplant shock. Let the pot soak for about two hours, and now we're ready to replant. Bracing the plant with one hand, tip the pot upside down to pop it out. These guys are rarely root bound, and they usually come out super easy. Just don't tug on that stem. As you can see, not much of a root system, which is kind of disappointing. I have a hunch that I kept this guy slightly too wet. Taking that same potting mix, fill in and around your young pineapple plant 
taking care not to drop soil in the base of the shoot, nor to break off or damage any leaves. Pack that soil down firmly to finish off the planting and we're almost done. Using that fir bark that we mentioned earlier, mulch the top of that pot to complete the planting. Mulching will help us to avoid excessive watering and aesthetically, Really, it just suits pineapple plants. At this time, I give the plants a small overhead watering. Not really for actual moisture reasons, but more to wash any soil away from the leaf axles, as well as to wash the dust off the bark mulch itself. In a five gallon pot, your pineapple plant can last another one to two years before needing to move up in container size to begin setting its first fruit. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.